Test Drive with Graham Fletcher. This week on Test Drive, we look at the 1992 Mercury Cougar. Now, this is no ordinary Cougar because it's one of the limited edition 25th anniversary models. There will only be 300 of these vehicles available throughout Canada. As Lewis Carroll wrote, curiouser and curiouser. Here you have a car company that all but ignores the anniversaries of the T-Bird and Mustang, and yet here we are testing a vehicle that has seen not one, but two anniversary models in the last five years. Now I'm not knocking them because this, the 25th anniversary Cougar, is a very nice piece of work. Inside, start with an LS model and add special cloth and leather seats with green suede inserts, unique black wood grain accents on the dash, and a host of 25th anniversary logos. The effect is different without being gaudy. Up front, the seats are form-fitting and comfortable, and the large side bolsters add the required lateral support. Accessing the rear seats is fairly easy for a two-door because of the size of the doors. Once back there, you'll find generous amounts of head and legroom. The only downside is that the sheer size of the doors can make them rather cumbersome in close quarters. The dash features a full array of analog instrumentation that is very easily read at a glance and all controls from the power windows on the left through the steering wheel mounted cruise controls to the radio are all well placed and easy to reach. On the subject of the radio, it is Ford's JBL sound system complete with an in-dash CD. For the money, there simply is not a better sounding system. The trunk is simply huge, features a nice flat floor and bumper level liftover. The only hindrance is the mammoth amplifier that hangs down on the right side. Picture this for a scenario. You've just wheeled into your local shopping mall and you've opened the trunk to get something out or to put your valuables back here. Now, all the time you've got the deck lid open, this little number here is conspicuous and open for anybody to see. Now, that is the keyless entry code for this car. In essence, if somebody picks that number up, you've given them a key to your car. So while you're inside doing your shopping, He's out here rifling the car and wandering off with your valuables. Do yourself a favor and move the sticker to somewhere that's a lot less conspicuous. While the driving position is very good, visibility to the rear is hampered by the very narrow rear window and massive rear roof pillars. The other major criticism with this car is the fact that there is no airbag. Under the hood, our tester came equipped with the optional 5-liter high-output V8. Power is rated at 200 horses and 275 pounds-feet of torque. As you might expect, the car is no slouch. While 0 to 100k is accomplished in 9 seconds, the car comes into its own in the mid-range. Step on the gas at 80 and you zip through the 120 mark in short order. Matched with this engine is a 4-speed automatic with overdrive. In an effort to improve fuel economy, the transmission gets into top gear as soon as possible. The problem is that sometimes the thing is slow to kick down unless you nail the gas pedal. And when you do that, the downshift is very abrupt. In the pylon test, the Cougar displayed a level of athletic agility I did not expect. The suspension provides a smooth, supple ride whilst managing to control the amount of body roll extremely well. The steering also offers a high degree of feedback, again something I did not expect. All in all, the ride and handling characteristics proved to be much better than I had anticipated. My pet peeve on the Cougar is really quite simple. It's to do with the aerial, and it nearly cost me a few bob when I went to the car wash prior to doing the test drive. In essence, when I turned the radio off, the aerial didn't go down, unlike it does in most cars. With this vehicle, you've got to use a separate and different button. Now, why they didn't wire the thing through the radio is beyond me. Anyway, now to the scoreboard for a rundown on the 1992 25th anniversary Cougar. For a large car, the Cougar handled the pylon test with remarkable aplomb. Out on the open road, the suspension provides a firm yet supple ride that ensures the required level of comfort. The 200 horse V8 engine ensures prompt throttle response under all circumstances. 0 to 100 acceleration is accomplished in 9 seconds. The $1,500 cost of upgrading from the rather anemic 3.8 litre V6 is worth every single penny. The brakes are responsive and the pedal easy to modulate. We required 117 feet to stop from 80k. The addition of an anti-lock system here would not go amiss. The Cougar is very comfortable and easy to drive. Under most circumstances, the level of wind and engine noise is minimal. The exception is under hard acceleration, but then the sweet song that the engine sings is rather pleasant to listen to. Fuel economy is not one of this car's fortes. 
During the test, we averaged a rather thirsty 14 litres per 100 kilometres or 20 miles per gallon. High and low figures were 28 and 18 respectively. The Cougar successfully blends luxury and performance in an appealing package that offers the best North America has to offer, V8 power in a rear-wheel drive car.